Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video we're going to talk about how you can set up custom financial periods. So some companies have requirements where their financial periods don't fit the normal monthly style. So if we go over to financials, we have a company here that doesn't have any financial periods yet. So I can set it up with you. If we go to financial year, and this is the screen we have when we first set things up. So what we can do here is we could define, ordinarily we would define, for example, somebody who's on a calendar fiscal year, January 1 to, for example, January 31st. So you tell the system when your financial year starts, you select monthly, this is the period start date, and then we create the periods and you could see Acumatica does the work for you and you essentially have 12 periods and they fall within the calendar. But let's say for example, let me escape out of this, let's say for example we needed a custom period. We could select that here, we can go back to January 1 and maybe we start on January 1 but we create our periods Acumatica gives us the ability to change our ending date so let's say for example our ending date maybe we close where that kind of business where we finish on a Saturday and it's the Saturday after this period so maybe we're going to the fifth so when we do that, Acumatica recalculates the next start date and it gives us the ability to change. So now this is going to be February to March 5th. And then this one will also be a Saturday. So this is March to the 2nd. And then this one will be to May 7th and so on. So this gives you the ability to define your periods with varying calendar dates. And keep in mind that these periods will still be period 1, period 2, period 3, but the transactions contained within will be these varying dates. You can also change the description if you want. If you want to name it something special, you can do that. But once I'm done with this and I save it, I now can start to enable these periods and start to use them for business use. So thanks so much for watching this video on financial custom periods in Acumatica. If you like this video, please click the like button in YouTube. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.